For one week in December, C-SPAN is going to provide you with what we were able to get access to the White House in putting together a unique and extensive, the most extensive look at the White House. It's a week-long experience. It will begin with a documentary that will air on Sunday, December 14th, and all week long we're going to be showing you what we saw. And joining us uh, in just a moment is Mark Farkas, who is uh, the individual that put this entire project together. But first, a sneak preview of what this documentary will look like. You know, down the hall and up the stairs from this office is the part of the White House where the President and his family live. I never forget that I live in a house owned by all the American people and that I have been given their trust. This house is only on loan to its tenants. We are temporary occupants linked to a continuity of president. Well, I'm so excited that you all are here. It's both a very, very public house with public tours and a wonderful private home for our president. C-SPAN's original production, The White House Inside America's Most Famous Home, will premiere on Sunday, December 14th, and begin a week-long experience. And joining us is Mark Farkas, the executive producer of this documentary. How did this all come about, Mark? Well, it came about after we had completed a high-definition documentary on the Capitol in 2006. We thought, uh, what would our next high-definition project be? And we looked at the 2008 presidential election and said, that would there be any better place than the White House to take viewers inside to get a glimpse of how first families have lived and changed that building over the course of time? So we pitched the project to the First Lady, and they uh, said yes. It took a while to get in. But um, once we did, they gave us unbelievable access to both the public places inside the White House, like the state floors, uh, as well as the private residence. And so over the course of about a year and a half, working around the schedule of really probably the most busiest building in the world, we were able to get inside. And you're seeing glimpses right now of the private residence. This is where the first family lives. And I think what the week-long experience will give the viewer is a chance to really see both uh, the inside and the outside of this home, as well as the gardens and grounds, uh, and really take you inside the White House like never before. And this is, as we've been saying, more than just uh, one 90-minute documentary, but, but really something that C-SPAN, uh, and, and only C-SPAN can do by, by providing the viewers a full week to experience the White House. Can you explain how that came about? Sure. We'll, we'll kick off the week with this documentary, uh, portions of which you're seeing. Um, and then uh, each night that week at 9 p.m., we take you into a different part of the White House. Uh, on Monday night, we're going to go inside the private residence with a tour with First Lady Laura Bush. And then also the rest of that evening, we will have other famous tours of the White House that have been done over the years. Harry Truman's first ever televised tour. Uh, Lady Bird Johnson did a tour of the White House that uh, folks have never seen on television, as well as Jacqueline Kennedy's famous. 1961 tour of the White House. We'll show you that. And then as the week progresses? Uh, the next night on Tuesday, we take you into the working White House, really the, the chocolate shop, the kitchen, all those places that you never see. You see state dinners on television, but you don't get a chance to go behind the scene and see all these people who work there that make this place run. About 100 permanent staff work inside the White House. So we'll take you inside that, uh, inside there to all those different places, again, that you can't see on a public tour and you really can't see on a private tour. Uh, then on Wednesday night, we want to take you to the gardens and grounds of the White House, 18 acres inside the gates of the White House uh, that really have a history all of their own. And we spent some time with Dale Haney, who heads up the, uh, the crew over there and has been working there for a number of years. So you'll get a real sense of how the first family and the public enjoys the gardens and grounds. 
Thursday night, we're going to take you inside Abraham Lincoln's White House, the Lincoln bedroom, probably the most famous room in the house, and it's been restored by Mrs. Bush uh, during the past eight years. So we will take a look at uh, what Abraham Lincoln's White House looked like, uh, how he lived inside that house, and how he really has, even though he didn't make a lot of changes to the home, really has impacted it forever. Um, Friday night, we're going to replay our documentary, and then we're going to give viewers a glimpse of how we actually put it together, uh, where we, we took a small camera into the White House with us and sort of documented how we put this special together. It takes a lot to, uh, to navigate the White House, to get into the White House, so it's a real glimpse, we hope, of behind-the-scenes uh, making of this program. And then Saturday night... Um, we interviewed probably some of the world's foremost historians on the history of the White House and how the White House works. Uh, we'll do an interview with President Bush and with Mrs. Bush. We're going to replay an encore presentation of the tour we did of the private residence with Mrs. Bush, as well as uh, letting you hear some of the great stories that have unfolded over history as told by historians like William Seal, uh, Lonnie Bunch, Richard Norton Smith, and Doris Kearns Goodwin. And again, it's just one example of uh, one part of this program is Mrs. Bush uh, gives our audience a, a view of the yellow oval room. Can you explain what we're about to see? Sure. In the middle of the private residence, there are, there are three oval rooms in the White House. On the ground floor is the diplomatic reception room. One floor above that is the blue room. And then one floor above that, the second floor, is where the first families live. And there's a room called the yellow oval room that looks out onto the Truman balcony. And it's really a place where they, they live their private life as well as entertain uh, friends, uh, dignitaries, before they come downstairs for state dinners. So it's a room full of history, and she took us in there, as well as other parts of the private residence. So here's about a minute of uh, the C-SPAN documentary and Mrs. Bush in the yellow oval room. This is a very warm house, the way it's decorated, and really even the stories of it. This is a south-facing room, and so as you can tell, even on a cold January day, the sun pours in these beautiful curved windows. This is where we'll entertain senators. I will have teas in here with spouses of heads of state who come to visit. The president and I have met with the Dalai Lama in this room. It's also a room that I've had baby showers in for a niece or a nephew. A lot of this room was done this way, both by Jackie Kennedy first, the torchers that are there, she brought to the White House. We did have a luncheon for Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip in here the day of their state visit, and we were able to point out the mantle set, the clock, and the two torchers there that were her gift from her father, King George, to President Truman when she visited the White House as Princess Elizabeth. So there are years of history um, in nearly everything in this room. It's called the White House Inside America's Most Famous Home. And as you put this entire program together, what did you learn about the White House, its occupants, and its history? Well, it's hard to sum up in, in one point. But, uh, I mean, one of the things you do learn is that uh, it's an amazing American museum. But upstairs, even though it's nicely adorned, um, it's, some, it's beautiful, but it's also a place. There are places in the White House where the first family lives that uh, we sort of recognize in, in any of our own homes, places that uh, first families have their dinners. We went into the private dining room. Um, there's a solarium up on the third floor. That's a, it's just a nice place for the first families to hang out. So you really get a sense that they can live a private life inside a very, very uh, public building. So beginning Sunday, December 14th, what will the C-SPAN audience see, Mark Farkas? Uh, they'll see a little bit of what you're seeing here on the screen. We kick off the week with the White House Inside America's Most Famous Home. It's a 90-minute feature documentary that really is designed to take you into the White House. It's sort of our invitation to come inside uh, the symbolic home of the American people and take a look at it today. And then what we do is we go back in time and take a look at selected presidents and first ladies and first families that have shaped what you see today and how you understand the White House today. So we kick it off uh, that Sunday, December 14th, and then from there, the rest of the week, uh, each night at 9 p.m., we have a different aspect of the White House, from the flower shop that you're seeing on your screen uh, to the gardens and grounds to some of these other places inside the White House, again, that, that people just don't get a chance to see 
on a public tour. And we should add that nobody has had uh, more access than C-SPAN in putting this uh, documentary together inside the White House, both the public and the private rooms. And while the program begins on Sunday, December 14th, you can check out our website, which is now available online at cspan.org slash White House. Mark Farkas, as people log on to this site over the next two months before the program begins on Sunday, December 14th, what's available? There are lots of things that we're going to be able to give you a sneak peek on as we lead up to the documentary and the week-long look at the White House on December 14th. There are interview clips with all the historians that we've talked to. Uh, there are also going to be uh, other videos that will be posted. As you're looking there, there's a, we also have a section called Historic Events at the White House where we'll take you inside the White House to take a look at uh, events that have really defined the home and a nation. Um, and so we'll have uh, sneak pre previews of things that are coming up. Um, on the on the series, uh, I don't want to leave uh, before I uh, do say one thing. We had tremendous help from the first lady and her staff uh, to pull this off. It's no easy feat to bring a documentary crew inside the White House for the better portion of a year and a half uh, to work around their schedule. And also, the White House Historical Association uh, has been integral in this process in uh, both uh, getting us in and giving us access to their archives of uh, wonderful photos and film of the White House. So tune in beginning Sunday, December 14th at 9 o'clock East Coast time and all week long. C-SPAN's White House Week, including our original production, The White House Inside America's Most Famous Home. Mark Farkas, thanks very much. Thanks, Steve.